Hi, I'm Max Weinbach with XDA TV, and today I'm going to show you how to install the OnePlus Open Beta on the OnePlus 6 and 6T. Let's get started. So this is the OnePlus 6T, or OnePlus 6, not the 6T. It has a finger and scanner on the back and headphone jack. So to install the Open Beta, you don't need to have your OEM unlock enabled. This right now is a bootloader lock device. I don't have TWRP installed. This is just the normal device. You're going to want to go to the OnePlus website. Go all the way down to the bottom of the page where it says support, then go to software upgrade. Here you're going to want to select your device. I have the OnePlus 6, so I'm going to use the OnePlus 6 update. This is the latest stable build, and this is the latest beta build. You're going to want to go to beta and select it. At the time of filming this, Open Beta 10 is the latest one available. So I'm just going to download that. I'm just going to put this down. And then once this is downloaded, I'll be back. Okay, now the download has finally finished downloading. It's a gigabyte and a half, so it's a relatively large file. Once it's done, you're going to want to go to settings go to system, then system updates at the bottom. This is where OnePlus does all their updates. Click this little button up in the top, the gear, then the local upgrade. You're going to want to move your installation file to the root of the directory, so that means it can't just be in the downloads folder. Before you can actually update it uh, with the file you just downloaded, you're going to need to move the download from the downloads folder over to the root of the directory, which is just the internal storage. You can use the built-in file manager like I did to do that. I'm just going to make sure the file is down here. This is the open beta file. Once that's done, you can go into settings, all the way at the bottom, go to system, system updates, click this little icon up here, the gear, then local upgrade. This is the open beta file. You're just going to want to click that and hit install now. This won't wipe your data. Uh, if you're totally bootloader locks in stock, but you should make a backup anyways. Since my phone has nothing on it, I'm not going to make a backup. Then you're just going to hit install. Since this is an AB phone uh, partition scale, you will not need to have to worry about the phone going through the big recovery process. It's just going to install it while the system's on, like this, and then once it's done, I reboot my phone and the update's already installed. If you do install the open beta, it is a lot harder to get back to stable than it is to install it. It's a lot more of a process than this. You're going to have to downgrade and then re-upgrade, and that could wipe your data. So just be aware if you are upgrading to the open beta that you have you should make a backup. Betas aren't always perfectly stable, so you always want to have a backup. Okay, the update has finished installing on the uh, through AB updates. Now to install the update and just reboot, sorry, the update's already finished, just to reboot into the new update, you just have to click reboot. The phone's going to restart, and once it restarts, it'll be on open beta 10. Okay, my phone has rebooted, and I am now running OnePlus open beta 10 for the OnePlus 6. Yep, yeah, open beta 10. This comes with OnePlus roaming along with a couple other features built in. If you want to see more information on this, we have an article over on the XDA portal about this update, so you can go check that out. This process is the same for the OnePlus 6T if you own that instead of the OnePlus 6. They are very similar phones and the process is exactly the same, it's just a different file. So if you want to do the OnePlus 6T, it's the same process. Thank you.